Typical. We pass out and we wake up in a blood-encrusted, rusted place, of course. Scarlet Stall, where did... That's a great question, Alex, seeing as how I don't know what the rest of it is, and none of us will ever know. So that's one way to make a game creepy, is add dolls all over the place. That'll usually do it. Resident Evil 8 tried to do it, and it wasn't all that grand, because they made that sequence the shortest in the game, which was dumb as fuck. Which they really shouldn't have done. Okay, now I know there's certain corridors that are dead ends, and if you go into them, enemies come out, and you end up having to expend resources for no fucking reason. But screw me if I'm going to be able to remember where any of them are. So, you know what we're calling this? We're calling this a completionist run. That is, if I can find all the stupid crude drawings that my little fucking brother is having to go out. It's like Frogger. Like, the first few levels are just nothing major, you know, traffic, maybe a couple bees here and there. And then you get to the later levels of Frogger, and it's like a molten forge, and all the fucking platforms start collapsing underneath you. And there's pistons and shit going, and it's like, why the fuck would a frog be in these circumstances? But you don't really think about that when you play Frogger, do you? You don't really think about how unbelievable those levels get. Like, frogs in space! It's like, why the fuck would Frogger be in space? For what fucking reason? Would Frogger be in space? Yes, you like that. Hello there, dickhead. Open wide. Oh, you're not getting another shotgun round. You're not that fortunate. Asshole. Have a sit down. Have a rest. Wait, what does that say? Information about our patients is strictly confidential and should not be discussed in public places. Oh, some more of these creeper things. I need the knife for them. Get off. Pistol rounds, I'll take those. Nice little reimbursement. I'll take that. A lot of verticality in this hospital, that's weird. Although hospitals always do have like five or six floors, don't they? They can't just have an all-around revolving lift that goes to every single fucking floor. Nope. So it's gotta be, you gotta take three different fucking elevators if you wanna get to the top. Stupid, but it is how it is. Wait, what was that? Oh, I see, we have to go down, do we? Gotcha, alright then. I never heard that before, I kinda like the scuttling across, it's kinda cool. Another doll. Another health drink. Not worried about the doll. Does doll start with H and end in drink? I don't think so. Right, now what? Now where? Ah, oh, deeper into the depths of hell, of course. Wait, what does that say? Avoid health risks. Wear gloves. Yeah, don't want to get tetanus. Hi, Joshi. Wait a minute. Yeah, I hear a nasty fuck. Pistol for this one. I was really hoping one shot would do him. Bastard. Got a child's drawing. That looks like Ethan Hawke's the black phone. I'm like one of those people at a police station that's supposed to make out sketches of criminals. But I'm a really bad artist. So I have to play charades and guess which film it is. Although I can't remember if he's like the Lucky Charms guy. I remember he had a balloon, but I can't remember what color it was. I think it did happen to be red. So the actual fucking murderer of Ethan Hawke's The Black Phone is the Lucky Charms guy. Explains why he's so interested in kidnapping children. All makes sense, doesn't it? Never trust serial mascots. They're all fucking evil. Especially the fucking Irish Lucky Charms guy. Don't fucking trust him. Please keep noise to a minimum. Unless you're Alex Shepard. It's just in really fine print, so you can't read it without specs. Oh, 
Right here, then. I think we get a new weapon in this bitch as well. I think we get a crowbar. I think. Which is like a little bit lighter of a melee weapon, but it's a little bit faster, and I don't want to miss it. And I know if you go one of these two directions, you can miss it. And I remember it being at the bottom of a ladder, is what I remember. So I want to make sure I look around real quick before I fucking forget it like a dick. Because if I'm remembering my Silent Hill 3 playthrough, I ended up having to kill the final boss with a katana. And I saved, like, almost all my ammunition. I avoided enemies as well, and I still ended up running out of fucking ammunition. And I had to pull out the classic Samurai Bushido skills to be able to beat that bitch. And it was pretty rough. So let's be careful with the way we maneuver this fucking death prison, or whatever the hell this is. Actually, I think the death prison comes later. Oh, that's what you want in every hospital, isn't it? Boiling lava. Yeah. That's where you push the really unruly patients when they don't shut up after hours. Nothing in the cages? Okay. This might be where we get our crowbar from, actually. If I'm not mistaken. Which I might be. It's on top of a cage, just like that, but it's not this one, apparently. Oh yeah, and then we gotta squeeze through, huh? Oh, and this is the puzzle with the fans. I remember this. Because you gotta, like, pull a sequence of switches. There's our crowbar. Told you I remembered it being at the bottom of a ladder. Ward 8. Oh, so this was just for the crowbar, was it? Alright. I thought that was entirely missable. That seemed actually pretty well on the beaten path there. Hazardous voltage inside. Can shock, burn, or cause death? Keep out. If open or unlocked, immediately call Electric Power and Light Company. Show us how it's done. No promises. What's up, Kai? Long time no see. Where the fuck's my money, by the way? Kidding. But also, like, <laughs> where the fuck's my money, by the way? Now see, what you failed to realize is you're talking to a pimp named Slickback. Say the whole thing now. Biohazard. Cautions. What does that say? Biohazardous waste storage area. Unauthorized persons keep out. I'm authorized to go in every orifice, every opening, every crevice, every crevasse, every ravine that may contain items and consumables. Okay, I can't go through there. Alright. Seems pretty evident that I can't go through there. Alex Shepard, the professional at lever pulling. It's gonna pull yet another lever. Kind of like Conqueror's Bad Fur Day when you gotta wait for the fans to stop, don't you? A little bit. Attention nursing staff. All medications to be administered daily before 9am. Unless directed on the fucking bottle. It depends on what you're taking, doesn't it? Ready, Rue, then. We need to get some fucking trainers or something, because he hears us coming up on him every single time. What does that say? It's the... Something got him. It's the Sandman? It's the Sandman got him. That's not very good English. My brother's literary skills are about as good off as mine are. Oh, this is the fan puzzle, isn't it? No, because I remember it being wider than that. Oh, okay. Obviously, we need the use of the knife here. I can't wait to try out that crowbar, because I don't remember what it fights like, and I'm hoping it's a little bit quicker than the axe. Because I think my problem with the axe when it comes to dodging is that the swings are too, uh, too far between. Like, they have too much recovery on them. Is the word I was looking for. But again, my literary skills are not exactly great. Ah. That's what I need. So that's gonna stop the fan in the floor. I come back through here. Duck under this fan. Or not. Is there a switch for this one, then? No, there's not. So did the lever I pull stop this fan in front of me, then? Yes, it did. Oh, it stopped both these. Okay. I didn't expect that. Fair enough.
Is it just me or is that slowly rotating? That is rotating, isn't it? It's a little bit weird. I never noticed that detail before. See, usually in Silent Hill, all the nuances of the other world kind of represent things, but I don't know what that would represent in this one. You may be required to give a urine sample as part of your care. Please wait, if you can, until you see the doctor or nurse. They said urine sample, right? Just making sure. Maybe that's what all the molten pits are. Maybe they're just pits of piss and not pits of lava like I thought. This is the fan puzzle. I know I've said that about every single fan that I've come up to that isn't these fans, but... This is the fan puzzle. This is what I remember. This might take me a good minute, so bear with me. Okay. So what does that mean then? That switches to four if I pull that, yeah? Yeah. Right, so I remember there's a serum on one of the benches if you go the optional way, so I want to be sure to get that. So this one is going, but this one is not, but that one is. So I think I got the serum already. Yeah, I did. And then I have to get number one off. I gotta figure out how to do that. I gotta figure out how to trigger number one to off. I think I just gotta cycle the fans through, though. Because if the fans cycle like I think they do, I just have to go in a counterclockwise circle. From this side to the other side. And it should be alright. Because if I move this one from one... Oh, this one isn't functioning. I see, that changes things. Okay, so what happens if I do this? That shuts me out. Alright. So that one's on four. But four is good. But I have to cycle four to three so I can get three to one. But I have to get three to two. Right? Oh wait, no. Because I need all these to not spin. So if I get three to two and then three turns off, that's good. But that's going to make 2 operate. And then if I cycle 2 over to 1, that should turn 1 off and 2 off at the same time, yeah? Okay. So let's cycle the power down from 6 to 5. Get 5 run in. And then we can cycle the power from 5 to 4, so on and so forth. And I want to see what the lever does on the outside in the front of the gate. Because I think I have this pretty much down, I just gotta figure out what that lever does. Because I don't know if it's a transference of power from 4 to 3, or what. It is, okay. So that's a transference of power from 4 to 3. So that means if I cycle the power through, and bring it full circle. That means I should be able to transfer power from 3 to 2, and 2 should go to 1, if I pull this lever, I think. No. But this is fucked up. So. How does that work, then? Wait, hold on. Wait, all these are gonna fucking go eh, aren't they? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Ready, then. So if I move 3 back to 4... Oh, I got this backwards. I have the right idea, I just have it backward. I need to cycle the power from the 1 side to the 4 side to the 5 side. That's what I have to do. Okay, I'm just daft. Alright. That doesn't explain how I get the power to 1 to be off, though. That doesn't really explain that. If I'm being honest. Because if 1 doesn't have a power switch, how do I get 1 to turn off? Or do I have to go through the thi- do I have to go through the 6th side? Maybe that's why it indicates that one is broken. Maybe I have to go to the 6th side and I'm just daft. That's possible. But 4 is moving, so 4 is moving. That means I have to cycle to 5, but if I have to cycle to 5, I'm fucked. Yeah, they go to the same place. Alright, I'm just daft. Alright. That's fair enough. So that means that I have to cycle the power from 3 back to 2. This shouldn't be too bad, then. Because if those two are already off, that means all I have to do is cycle the power from 4 to 3, and we should be hunky-dory. We should be golden, I think. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, bro, I was joking. I was seriously joking. And you're right, Corson knows me way fucking more. Corson's been going through some shit, though. So fair play to him. But it has been a while. It's been like a year and a half. From his end. Right, so let's save over that one. And let's carry on, shall we? It's only going to get worse from here on in. See, there's my brother right there. I told you it would get worse. What's up with creepy orphan children in Silent Hill games? They should really stop with that. Find another method of being creepy. Like, what about property taxes? What about COVID-19 and inflation? That should be the theme of the next Silent Hill. Yeah. All right. Let's batter up. Full health. This is a really awesome fucking door design, by the way. I love this door. 